This is a deep surfaces shader. So it, when you apply it to a sphere or any other object, it'll let you make that object look a little bit volumetric. It's pretty cool. So here's the same thing with just a plain uh, texture on it. And then we can see how much more detail you get when you're using the, the material. So you have a surface color, depth color, noise scale, noise influence amount. Um, you have two different height maps that blend together and you can tile them as well, as well as set the overlay. You can also control how fast they move across the surface. If you set it high, they'll move really fast. So maybe don't do that. And um, you can control how many offset steps there are for the height. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then you have a noise option as well. So more steps means that it looks smoother and the noise helps to smooth it out as well. We also have this grazing angle reduction that adds this really interesting effect. There's a roughness map, which I'm not using for this one. And then you can control the smoothness, the max smoothness, the opacity of the surface, the normal map, the normal map strength, how dark or bright you want the center to be, and how you want that power to work, as well as the surface edge. So you can kind of blend it in or out there, the emission of that surface edge, the Fresnel extent, the Fresnel power, the depth edge, the depth emission. So it's for those dark parts in there. So for example, you can get a lot of it or just a little. And the Fresnel strength for the edge, so kind of how it falls off, as well as the edge power. And there's also an AO option. So overall, pretty cool, super flexible, and you can change the color too. And um, yeah, I think you'll really like this, especially for ice or something else in your scene that adds you know, really interesting glowing effects. So go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Cheers.